Welcome to Excel Basics video number 21. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, we're on Sheet Tab Filter. We want to talk about filter, but we also want to talk about an Excel table or an Excel list. Now, an Excel table or list is simply a data set with field names at the top, records in rows, no blanks anywhere, and no data, other data sets touch in this data set. Now, we, when we convert it to a table, which there's a keyboard shortcut that converts it to a table, it does a lot of amazing things. Now, in 2003, they called it list, Excel list, and the keyboard shortcut was Control L. See, and it says create table here in 2007. I'm going to click cancel. The new keyboard shortcut is control T. Either one works. It creates a table. Now, what's so amazing about this, make sure you got, if, if you have your data set up correctly, it'll work. And make sure it's my label has headers. And then click OK. The thing is, it has built in, and in 2003 it looks a little bit different, built in sorting and filtering. And more amazingly, as we'll see in a, a moment after we do filter, or actually I think I will show you now, what's more amazing is that if you build a function based on a, a column of data, for example, if you come over here and do Alt equals, and I'm going to click, in, that's the keyboard shortcut for sum, and I'm going to click in the sales, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift, Down Arrow to highlight that whole column, and then Enter. That formula right there is G2 to G350, but that 350 will update if you start adding new records to the bottom. So let's go try it. I'm going to control down, and this really is uh, one of these features that just did not get a lot of play when it came to when it came out in 2003. The way a table works is you can add data to the end. So watch this. I'm at the very last column, very last cell, and I'm going to hit Tab. A new record pops out, so I'll say 7 slash 22 slash 2004 and it was uh, Northeast and it was Jerry and it was uh, Pete's and it was KSG and it was for 200 and we sold it for 500 now let's just go and see up to the top here and see if it actually updated. Sure enough, it did. G351. You won't believe this either. Charts update too. So if you make a chart based on a table what, with Control L or Control T, it will update as well. That's the most amazing aspect of these new tables. Now let's go back to filtering. Um, 2007, you have these drop down, and there in 2003 there weren't as many amazing filters. But you will not believe the filters. Filters you can filter by today, next week, tomorrow, between two dates, next quarter, last year. Unbelievable filters for dates. Um, you can also uh, expand these and select any any single month in a particular year you want. Uncheck or check them. A uh, filter by region. Now let's actually do one here. Uh, filter, let's say equals, and then I'm going to select uh, from the uh, f north. Now notice it's not sorted, right? But watch what filter does. Click OK. The the row headers are blue here, which means there's some hidden rows, but it instantly shows north. That's different than sort. Sort brings those records up to the top. Uh, filter uh, hides the rows that are not equal to that north. The other weird thing about a filter is if you copy it, um, control C, it automatically um, is copying just the visible cells. So when you paste it over here, for example, it pastes just those values. Now, I want to uh, get rid of this filter. I'm going to click that little uh, filter icon there and say clear filter. I'm going to click Escape. That gets rid of those dancing ants. So filter. Another um, nice aspect of filter, uh, you can filter numbers. And there's a bunch of number filters. Let's say greater than. And you could say greater than or equal to 500. And it would instantly filter on that criteria. 
clear. Another amazing aspect of this is filter and top 10. There's even above average or uh, above average or below average. These are new to 2007. Top 10 and click OK. Instantly shows me the top 10. I'm going to uh, uh, get rid of this filter here, clear filters. Another new thing in 2007 is the color. If we filter by color, it looks down and finds the colors. I'm going to say yellow and it filters them. Let's get rid of this. All right, so that's a little bit about filter and tables or lists. Oh, all right, we'll see you next video. Remember, as always, if you want to download the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun channel and then scroll down here on the left. And sure enough, there's a link right there. And these have uh, the workbook downloads Excel basics. You can even go uh, download my book. It's 144 pages and then print it out. And there's all the other links for the workbooks. It's the address right there.